I bet you didn't know that you could use Photoshop to create this infinity zoom effect. I mean, look at the glow around the planet, the details in the stars and the galaxies in the sky and whatever this photo came out to be. Now, what if I were to tell you that that was all done using AI? Well, you better believe me because I don't know how I'd get that photo otherwise. To get started, you're gonna need a shot on a tripod like this or like this. Make sure your subject is close to the center and there's nothing entering or leaving the frame around the borders. So now that you have your clip selected, take a screenshot of that and open it up in the beta version of Photoshop. To get the beta version installed, open up the Adobe Creative Cloud app, go to apps, beta apps, and then click install. While you're waiting for it to install, be sure to like the video and be subscribed to the channel. That way you don't miss more effects like this. Inside of Photoshop, go to the crop tool and make sure the toolbar says original ratio. That way the canvas stays the same ratio as the video you're actually editing. While selected on the crop tool, you can go to the top and actually turn off the generative expand option. I've just been expanding the canvas using the default crop tool. That way I can select specific parts of the canvas and get a bit more control of what I'm actually creating. When you're scaling up the canvas, just make sure to keep the image in the center. You can tell if your image is in the center because Photoshop will kind of like snap it into place if it's close. I like to take a bit more control of what I'm actually creating. So instead of just highlighting all the the checkerboarded areas. I'll select something that represents more of the sky and then I'll type in like northern lights with stars and then have that fill. The AI will generate three options and if you don't like any of them you can click regenerate or you can go ahead and change your prompt. I found with this AI keeping it a little bit more simple in the prompts I found that I get better results. It's something that you just play around with and over time you'll figure out what works and what doesn't. So at first I went a little bit more detailed and kind of selected each area and added stuff that I wanted but once you have all the elements in the photo that you already want you can use the crop tool to increase your canvas size and then using the rectangle selection tool you can kind of select your whole image just leaving a little bit of a border on the outside outside and then right click and select inverse. And then what I did is I just left the prompt blank and then click generate. It's really up to you with how big you make this actual canvas, but just keep in mind to bring into Photoshop and After Effects in specific, I think the width can only be 10,000 pixels wide. So a quick little workaround, if you find the canvas getting bigger than that, you can go up to image, image size, and then just change the width to 10,000 or less. Just be careful with how many times you actually end up doing this, because if you keep doing it, it's going to compress the image and kill the quality all the way in the center which is where you're going to be zooming into. So you don't want that. Once you're happy with how your image turned out, bring in that image and then the original video into After Effects. And then you want to create a composition by dragging your image, not the video, your image into a new composition. That's going to keep it really high quality and make sure it doesn't get pixelated. And then also bring in that original video above that image. So now you have to line up your original video over that image. And the easiest way I found to do it is change the blending mode to difference. And then you're going to have to scale it down a lot. For us, I think we had to end up going around 11%, but it's going to be different depending on how big you made the canvas originally, but just make sure you line it up as best as possible. After that, go to the mask tool, make sure you're selected on your video layer, and then just mask around the center. You'll know the kind of movements your subject makes, so just make sure that your subject doesn't actually go outside of that mask. You can go into the mask settings and turn up the feather if necessary. After that, highlight both of your clips and pre-compose them. And then go back into your main composition, go to composition settings, and then change the resolution to whatever the original video resolution was. And then you'll notice it probably scaled in a little bit. So go to the transform options, bring your playhead to that first frame, change the starting value. So it's all the way zoomed out. I went ahead and added a little bit of rotation and also made sure that our subject was in the dead center by turning on the proportional grids. And then go near the end of the composition, scale in to however much you want, reset the rotation, change the position so your subject is dead center, and then just make sure to easy ease those keyframes. Also, since I started off with a little bit of rotation, rotation and there was those black edges. I just added on motion tile, changed the output width and height to 200 each, and then made sure to mirror the edges. This one's a little bit more intensive on your computer. So instead of RAM previewing, I just kind of end up exporting it every single time and then just tweaking the values if I need to. I feel like it saves me time. I don't know if it actually does, but that's what I do. And then since I made two of these, I wanted to transition in between the two infinity zooms. So I made a new composition, added both of the effects in there, added an adjustment layer on top, and then I brought on one of my motion warp presets in between them, lined up the keyframes, and we have this amazing transition. You guys are looking for editing assets i'll have my website linked down below as well as the motion work presets that i just used there i feel like they're perfect for this style of effect but that's all i got for you guys in this one peace